So, what I want to do now is show how you can use VNC in order to connect and see what SRTC is doing within a test. So, we're going to do the following. I'm going to run a test for a GC example with four users just to figure out what, what's going on. And I am going to use VNC. If I add into the run options VNC, then TestRTC will try to add a VNC server into some of these probes that are going to run the test. Let's click the run button and see what happens. So we start by allocating the test. I'll prepare myself and load my VNC client. I'm using Type VNC Viewer, just something that I googled and found that works on my machine. And now let's wait for things to work out. I'll put it here until we start running the test. So we've got the machines allocated, the test is now running or initializing. I have this VNC button here. I'll click it, so I have the machine and I'll paste it here. Now I click the connect button and I'll put the password. And that's about it. What you see here is the actual machine that we are running in the cloud for one of the probes that is about to join the test. It is now preparing. It takes a few minutes to actually load, start the Chrome instance, and begin running. So here is the Chrome browser. It allocated the room, it went to the URL, and it joined the call. Now we're in a four-way call between the four participants. We need two different media videos here. I can use VNC also to click things on the screen. I shouldn't, in a way, but let's do it just this time and see what happens. Let's fast forward to the end of this call. The call is ended. You can see that we lost the connection to the machine. And now we're going to collect the results in TestRTC. Now, if I'm going to drill down into the machines, you can see that the screenshot taken on the machine that I used has no pop-up message here. And if we switch to another machine that was in the same test, 
and the pop-up message is there. So what have we done? We started the test, configured it to use VNC. Use the VNC client to connect into a machine to watch what's going on there. And we've even clicked a button to change what is there. The best approach to use VNC is not when you're running tests, but when you are debugging the scripts. You're in the process of running, of creating a script, things sometimes don't work. Using VNC can give you an understanding what went wrong or what is going wrong or, or what the script is doing and you think that it's supposed to do differently. Thank you.